Hello everyone. In this video I want to look at finding the domain range for a quadratic function. For example the one listed here 6x squared plus 18x minus 7. To find the domain range let's remind ourselves that we're looking at a quadratic function. So for starters domain of a quadratic function of any quadratic function, again anything in the form ax squared plus bx plus c where in this case a is 6, b is 18, and c is negative 7. Our domain is automatically all real numbers expressed with this symbol or an interval notation from negative infinity to positive infinity. To find our range, we want to identify what is the highest or lowest point on this graph. Considering this is a quadratic function, the graph is that of a parabola and has the basic shape of something like this. So we look at our leading coefficient, which in this case is a positive 6. Positive means it opens up. So this is a minimum value. So being a minimum value, if we know what the y value is of that point, we can easily deduce a range, since the range would be everything bigger than or equal to that particular point. So to find this vertex, this point right here, we'll use our vertex formula, which is opposite of b over 2a, and then f of the same value. In other words, whatever we find opposite of b over 2a is, we put it back into the function. The resulting value is our, uh, in this case, minimum value. So my b value is 18. So opposite of 18 becomes negative 18 over 2 times my a value being 6. So negative 18 twelfths, which I'll reduce to negative 3 halves. So this is my b over 2a, or opposite of b over 2a. I'll take that value and put it back into f of x. In other words, I want to find now what is f of negative 3 halves, which following my function means I'll say 6 times negative 3 halves squared plus 18 times negative 3 halves minus 7. So when I work this out, it becomes 6 times positive 9 fourths after I square negative 3 halves. Plus, or I should say minus, since this would be positive 18 times negative 3 halves, that will reduce to 27 minus 7. And again, if you're not sure where I got 27 from, I can reduce, since I have a 2 in the denominator here, and my 18, I can reduce 18 to a 9, 2 becomes a 1, 9 times negative 3 is where I get negative 27. Or you can multiply 18 times negative 3, and divide by, divide by 2 to get negative 27. I can also reduce 6 and 4, each by 2, and I'll get 3 and 2. So now 3 times 9 gives me 27 over 2. 27 minus 7 gives me a minus 34. Now fractions are okay to have as y values, but we need to get a common denominator. Currently it's 1, so my common denominator would be 2, so I multiply my second fraction each by 2. And I'll have 27 halves minus 68 halves, which gives me a negative 41 over 2. So my vertex is negative 3 halves, negative 41 over 2. which means, looking back at my graph, since this is the minimum value, negative 3 halves, negative 41 halves, and everything is bigger than that point, 
and my range will be y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 41 halves or in interval notation negative 41 halves would be my lowest point and then my highest point would be positive infinity so again to find the domain of a quadratic function we can assume that it's all reals since it is a quadratic function, you know, a parabola. To find the range, we identify the minimum or maximum point by using the vertex formula. Using the y value, we then determine the appropriate range based on whether the graph opens up or opens down.